Jesus certainly didn't die, go through all his suffering so we could do church. I mean, let's face it, he had more in mind than us meeting once a week in tithing. Jesus made a very profound statement, many, but one in particular, he said, you will do the same works that I have done, and even greater. You know, John Wesley said, set yourself on fire for all to come and watch you burn. And I think some of it is creating a lifestyle where we deliberately set our cold, broken, stony hearts before the fire of his love the normal Christian life and we're seeing that miracles really are normal and uh, Jesus was the most normal Christian in the Bible and he modeled for us what life could be like. If we're in Christ all of us have the Holy Spirit. All of us have Christ living inside of us the hope of glory. All of us have God communing with us. My heart's desire is for people to meet the God of miracles. The purpose of the miracle is to meet the God of miracles. Especially in Mozambique, Africa, because we have no entertainment, like we don't have television, we don't have malls, we have absolutely no outside input. Like the supernatural becomes the entertainment, you know, because God's the most exciting, you know, captivating being in the world. And I, I just want to say to the Western Church that God is asking you to stop for one person every day and love them. Don't complicate the gospel. The gospel's all about love. It's good news. It's about being in love with God and loving the one in front of you. Keep it simple. Stop believing that what you've seen or haven't seen doesn't exist just because it didn't start with you and didn't start with your church.